Hey guys, this is a little PSA video in case you happen to be using the WP Vivid backup plugin. Uh, there's a setting that you might want to check and this kind of affects all sites that are using the plugin. Uh, so basically back in August, on August 23rd, they released an update to their rollback feature. It used to be called auto backup and before it used to just be this checkbox where if you had it enabled, I can't remember if it backed up your entire site or just your database or just the plugin, but basically it was a checkbox. You could have it enabled and it would just back up your site before updating a plugin. So they changed how that worked um, and now they have it so you can, uh, base, it'll basically make a backup of the plugin and if something breaks, you can just roll it back. And even though the idea is pretty good, the way they executed this is very questionable and you'll see why in a second. So here I'm gonna go over to my site and before I had that whole feature turned off because I use grid panes, I use grid pane and I have hourly backups and I don't really need to have WP Vivid managing my plugin updates. Um, so I had that turned off. And then with this update, it auto enabled rollback. So rollback is the new feature and there was no warning about turning this on. There was nothing, I didn't get an email. And the fact that this feature was turned on by default is kind of strange because if you look at what it does, so here you can see that it has all of my plugins enabled along with uh, my theme. I might've tinkered with that, but your theme and your plugins, and it has all of this enabled by default. And anytime you update one of these plugins, it takes a backup, which I mean, sounds good in theory, but if you don't need it, then what this does is add a lot of, um, takes up a lot of space on your, uh, on your server, because I mean, let's look at, let's say WP Rocket. There are four versions that I can roll back to and if I click the I, you can see that here are the four versions it took a backup of, and they're each 12 megabytes. So now just imagine this times, however many plugins I have, obviously this site's a little bit bigger, but without me knowing this added many, many megabytes to my site size. And one of the weirdest parts is that there's no actual way of turning this off other than, I mean, the easiest way is to click this and then go through here and then click disable. Uh, but then you also need to make sure you go to the second page and then do the same thing for the themes. And you need to do this for every website. If you have uh, clients that you don't want this enabled for, you have to go through this list manually because if you look at the settings, you can choose how many backups you want. But let's say you put zero here. It says, nah, you can't do that. Um, if I go to the WP Vivid settings, uh, go to rollback, Let's say I put zero here. No, that doesn't work either. So there's no actual way of disabling this. And possibly what's worse is now, even with, um, even if I turn everything off here, so this is what I've been doing to my client sites that I just don't want this for. So I'm gonna hit disable and then I'm gonna go to the second page, make sure this is off too. Uh, so now these are off, but now if I wanna get rid of the backups, there's no way to actually purge them other than manually going in uh, one by one. So let's say I want to get rid of like all these backups, right? Like I have five here, another three here, uh, four there, another five here. It's a lot of backups. And the only way to get rid of them through the interface is to click on the eye icon. And then that'll show you them here. And then you have to go here and delete permanently. So this is just kind of crazy that that's the only way to remove them. Um, obviously the more manual way is to log in to, uh, whatever file manager or FTP you're using, and then you can find them in your WP content, uh, go to, uh, WP vivid backups, rollback, uh, plugins, and you can just right click and delete this entire folder and that'll get rid of all of, uh, the backups. So yeah, that's really it for this video. Uh, this is a setting that pretty much everyone should know about because you could have had let's say a hundred megabyte website before, but now it might be 500 megabytes just because your plugins are duplicating over and over again, just stored as backups. And you had no idea that this was going on. So I, I have reached out to, to WP Vivid. They said they will implement a setting where you can just turn all of this off, uh, but they still haven't addressed the fact that um, it's impossible to delete your old backups without going through FTP um, or doing it one by one, which is slow and stupid. So. Yeah, hopefully this video helps and thanks for watching.